Hello, and welcome back to another flight review. If you're new here, my name is Jet, and today I'm flying with Delta Airlines from Seattle to Tokyo Haneda on board an 8030-900neo in Delta's premium select product. I forgot to film the check-in process, but it was pretty straightforward. There was a bit of a line even at the sky priority area, so we did have to wait about 15 minutes just to drop off our bags. Anyhow, once through security, we took the train over to the S-Gates, which is SeaTac's depressing international terminal. Once off the train, I made my way up the multiple escalators and then proceeded to go the wrong way and make a circle in the terminal. But here's our gate for today, S16, and waiting just outside the window is our two-year-old A330-900neo taking us over to Haneda. I usually arrive way too early for flights, but really didn't have much time to spare today. I took a few pictures of our aircraft, and before I knew it, boarding had already started. One thing to note is when you're flying Premium Select with Delta, you are given Sky Priority benefits, which allows you to board the aircraft earlier in the process. And welcome on board Delta's A330neo. Entering through the L2 door, the Premium Select cabin is immediately to your right. Here's my seat for today, 20A, a window seat at the bulkhead. The seat features a plump, fully adjustable headrest, and waiting at my seat was an amenity kit, some acceptable headphones, slippers, and a pillow and blanket. Your seat controls can be found on the inner armrest next to a storage cubby and an IFE remote. Above that, you'll find your headphone jack and down below a cup holder. There's also a universal power outlet inside the cubby, which is kind of horribly placed and a bit hard to access. Your IFE screen is mounted on the bulkhead in front of you, and beneath that you'll find a storage pocket with three dividers. Boarding continued and the flight attendants came around passing out paper menu cards for today's meal service. However, I pre-ordered a vegetarian meal. Also, here's a little hack we discovered since there's nowhere to store your headphones at the bulkhead. If you stick your slipper in the seat back pocket, you can just hang your headphones from there. It'll help keep your legroom area clear. We pushed back just one minute behind schedule and with the safety video rolling, we started our 10 hour and 11 minute journey to Tokyo.
About 20 minutes after takeoff, our meal service had already begun. In Premium Select, the meal service kicks off with a packaged towelette and your choice of sparkling water or wine with some crackers. You are provided with a real tablecloth and metal cutlery and a napkin. They also use these semi-fancy drink coasters, which is a nice touch. Here's my vegetarian meal for today, along with my drink of choice, which was a Diet Coke. My main was a root vegetable chili with rice, a side cucumber salad, and a cup of fruit. The presentation is really nice in my opinion, and the meal definitely looks healthy, which is good. Unfortunately, the taste was probably just a 6 out of 10, but I didn't feel icky after eating, which is always good on longer flights. My partner opted for the spinach and cheese pasta option, which also looked really good. It came with an orzo side salad and a little blondie bar for dessert. Theirs tasted a lot better, and based on their review, it gets an 8.5 out of 10. After the meal service wrapped up, the crew asked everyone to close their window shades to allow others to sleep. In Premium Select, you get these really good pillows. I don't think they're gel, but they are really thick and very supportive compared to the usual pillows you get on long haul flights. About halfway through the flight, the crew came around offering drinks and warm cookies. I really didn't need the cookie, but I got it anyways along with a hot coffee. Delta has a great IFE system with plenty of movies, shows, and music. Most importantly though, there's a moving map which is always my favorite part. I'll speed it up here so feel free to play back at a slower speed if you want to see it all. About an hour and a half before landing, the crew turned on the sunrise lights to prepare us for breakfast. I was given the spinach tofu panini and some more fruit with a coffee to drink. The sandwich wasn't the tastiest, but I appreciate Delta trying to provide something other than a calzone or a hot pocket. You also get wood utensils for this meal, which I hate since they just remind me of the popsicle stick doctors would put down your throat. With the second meal service wrapped up, we started our descent into Tokyo Haneda, which is a perfect time for me to share some final thoughts. Today's flight was overall nothing to complain about. Check-in had a bit of a wait, but aside from that, today's journey was genuinely seamless. My pre-ordered meals definitely weren't the tastiest, but the fact that the crew, one, had them on board, and two, brought them to me without me having to ask is a win in my books. I would say the meals did leave a bit to be desired as far as sustenance goes. I think a piece of cheese and some crackers, or maybe a piece of bread would have been a nice way to round the tray out. Also, some food for thought, our meals on our domestic first flight from Seattle to Boston were a lot bigger. The hard product used in Premium Select is the same seat you'll find on board Delta's domestic first product on their A220s, and I think the seats are fine, but definitely not the most cushioned. These seats do feature leg rest and plenty of space for a bigger behind. On the A330neo, I definitely recommend the bulkhead, especially since the IFE is mounted on the wall in front of you. Sometimes, the bulkhead seats get their IFE screens stuffed in the armrest which can make your seats less wide and also just doesn't provide a very good viewing angle for your screen. The crew on today's flight was very professional and very kind, and for the first time in my Delta flying history I was thanked for being a Platinum Medallion and for flying Delta by a flight attendant during our descent into Tokyo. I titled this video asking if Delta Premium Select is worth it, and based on this flight I think I'd have to say no, and I'm a Delta fanboy. But let me explain and discuss in some instances how it might make sense. If you were to book this flight today, Premium Select is offered at just under a $1,000 premium. And the main differences between economy and Premium Select are the added benefits of Sky Priority, the improved seats, and the meals that are served in special containers. 
On Delta's A330neo, economy is arranged in a 242 configuration, so if you're traveling as a couple, you can still benefit from having a row to yourselves. The seats aren't as wide in economy, but for a daytime flight, that might not matter too much. As far as food goes, the meals are essentially the same in economy and premium select. In fact, sometimes meals from economy are provided to premium select passengers if their first choice is no longer available. In economy though, you of course won't get linens, nor will you get the premium sparkling water, wine, and crackers. If the price difference between economy and premium select is negligible, I'd of course say do it. Or if you're flying on an A350 and don't want a middle seat in economy, I'd definitely say premium select might be worth it to avoid that 343 configured economy. All this to say, I'd really just look at all your options when flying with Delta and see if premium select is worth it for you and your situation. And welcome to Tokyo Haneda, 10 hours later. Overall, today's flight was great. And like I said earlier, really just weigh all your options when booking. Personally, if I were to book this flight today, I do not think that Delta's premium select product is worth the $1,000 premium over a standard economy seat. And like always, a huge thank you to all of you for watching another one of my flight reviews. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you aren't already subscribed, please help me out and hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing, but helps me more than you know. Next up is an Air Canada Signature Class video, and Porter Reserve will be shortly after that. But let me know what you want to see me fly in 2024. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all again soon.